Hi, I'm Chris Natsume. I make games. In fact, I've been making games since 1991. You might have played some of the games I designed or produced, such as Circus Maximus or Far Cry. For the last 10 years, I have been creative directing at BoomZap, a top casual game developer. In that time, we've shipped dozens of games for PC, Mac, iOS, Android, and Wii. You may have seen some of our great casual hits, like The Awakening or Dana Nightstone Adventure Game Series, or one of our great puzzle games, like Jewels of Cleopatra, Rescue Quest, or Pocket Ages. But today, I'd like to talk to you about something very new for our team, and one of the most exciting projects I have ever worked on, Legends of Fire and Steel. Legends of Fire and Steel is a video game inspired by old-school strategy games like Heroes of Might and Magic, Warcraft, and Civilization. It uses game design elements from both board and card games in a simple but deep turn-based strategy game designed from the ground up to play well on a tablet such as an iPad. In the game, the player creates armies composed of different units and led by a hero. These armies are used to capture territories which provide resources, and cities, which allow them to build new units and heroes. Each city belongs to a different race, which allows the player to build different units, which form larger armies. Each unit and hero has particular strengths, weaknesses, and powers, which can be mixed and matched like trading cards to form armies with different tactical powers. The objective of the game is simple. Capture the other player's territory, destroy their armies, occupy their cities, and rule the world. Within each territory, the player has a number of actions their hero can perform, such as attacking, raising, fortifying, defending, and healing. Cities and army units can be upgraded to make them more powerful, and new heroes and armies can be unlocked using your hard-won resources. The multiplayer game uses a simultaneous plan and resolution cycle. This means that all players plan their moves simultaneously, and then see them resolved in real time. This not only adds a new element of strategy to the game, because you're predicting other players' moves, but it removes the tedium of hot seat style gameplay, allowing players to spend their time planning and moving, not waiting for others to finish their turns. During battle resolution, each unit has an attack type, such as missiles, melee, or magic. These go one by one, in an auto-resolve order. A big part of the strategy of the game is determining not only the attack and defense strengths of your army, but the attack round of each unit. Do you use a number of artillery units that attack hard and early, but defend poorly? Or do you use melee units that attack later, but defend well? Mixing and matching this with the special abilities of the heroes creates opportunities for players to devise new and interesting strategies in every game. The game is set in a world of three warring races. The humans, the bay, and the revenant. The Fey are the wild powers of nature, striving against the forces of civilization and order. They field units like the Treant, the Phoenix, and Gollum. The Revenant are an evil force of undead, bent on destroying all that stand before them. They attack with dark knights, wraiths, and many, many skeletons. The humans, threatened by the aggression of the other races, fight for survival and honor using archers, swordsmen, griffins, and ballista. In later updates, races such as the Dwarves, Goblins, and Demons will be added, each with their own special units and abilities. BoomZap is one of the pioneers of the virtual studio environment. We currently have over 60 developers working in 12 nations and over 20 cities across Asia, speaking over 20 languages. I am absolutely honored to work with all the team here at BoomZap, but the Legends of Fire and Steel team is a truly special group of developers. Adrian, a 12-year industry veteran, is writing the code in Kuala Lumpur. TG is designing the game and building maps in Ipo. In Manila, Socrates and Uncle June are providing art, with Edwin directing. Between them, they have over 15 years of game development experience. Animation and effects are being done by Nanus and Shiro in Indonesia, as well as Zarif in Malaysia. Between them, they have animated over a dozen games. Music and sound is being made in Singapore by the extremely talented Lee Twins. We have testers working across Southeast Asia to make sure the game is balanced and bug-free. This is a very strong, experienced team that has shipped dozens of award-winning games. They can and will make this game 
awesome. I just want to finish by thanking everybody for taking the time to watch our videos, for checking out our Kickstarter page, and getting involved in our project. We're obviously very excited about what we're doing, and we're even more excited to have you get involved with us. Best way to get involved? Fund our Kickstarter. We're going to be uh, pre-ordering games as part of that Kickstarter, but we're also going to be adding people to our beta test list. And we'll be getting opinions from people, and we'll be changing the game based on input that we're getting during the Kickstarter and after the Kickstarter. This is a great time to get involved. And it's especially a great time to get involved in a kind of game that you're probably not going to find anywhere else. I thank you very much for your support, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.